Let's go to the third um, university. It's called St. Thomas University. And the fun fact is that St. Thomas University, NBCC, and UMB Fredericton are all like in the same vicinity. So across from NBCC, you can see St. Thomas University and also just walk a couple meters, maybe like five minutes down, and then you start to go into UMB um zone so it's really interesting and from epj to mbcc it's like less than 10 minutes walk if you walk fast it's going to be like five minutes so that was also one reason i chose it because um the cold affects me a lot so i wanted to be in a place where i didn't have to be sick every time i need to go to school <laughs> you see so that's also one reason so this is the website and we always looking for something about international students international students let's see international students future current wall of lights i don't know what that is so all this information so let's say future admissions tuition study permit working in canada so virtual campus map testimonials mm, admissions yeah right so all this information is here country specific everything so shadow Ghana mm -hmm. all this information is here Right, so let's go to the other, pretty much the same here, okay, to academics. I want to see if we can pull up one uh, program or one course, okay. Bachelor of Arts, all right. We have all these programs available. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I want to know if internationals can apply. Let's see program structure. Yeah, one, year two. Yeah, it's a four year program. Of course it is. <laughs> so contact us. You can contact them over here via email all of our phone or our fax so let's go to another tab and see financials tuition and fees for international students so mm -hmm. so if you're not sure about all of this you can also ask just ask them uh, shoot them an email and residence and meal plans double room single room so this is for one year. Mm -hmm. Okay, double room, single room, single room with an and suite. Okay, meal plan only. So there's a meal plan. Damage deposit, laundry fees. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. Um, international payment options. How can you pay your fees? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm all this information so a study permit that's also very important right to study in canada you'll be required to obtain a study permit mm -hmm. so the acceptance letter they're going to send to your email you can print that out proof of id proof of financial support letter of explanation so on the other school's websites i just left you can also check for these this is also very important but i didn't focus on this because this comes after you've been accepted right now we are looking at how can you apply for the program or for the course once you get accepted then you look into the study permit and all that stuff but it's also good to know that it's clearly stated here and you can look into that as well and let's go back here and see international applicants mm-hmm so apply through the common app right okay so that's the the way to apply working in canada mm -hmm. 
You should also check the other schools' websites about the working in Canada policy. I know for MBCC, you get a study permit and you get the work permit. You can work 20 hours a week. Uh, aside some particular places you cannot work, it's, it's clearly stated on your work permit paper. Aside those places, you can work pretty much anywhere. You can work in customer service. You can work in sales. You can work like... Um, in the restaurant, you can work in a hotel, so just make sure that you check the exceptions, the places you cannot work on your work permit paper you'll be given at the border. So when you're entering Canada, the immigration officer is going to give you that paper and you know the places you should not work and the places you should work. We have a video on how to get your social insurance number. All these things are like after you've actually got the program and you are arriving or you have arrived in Canada but we also have a video about this we showed you how we went to get our social insurance number how long it took exactly where in St. John you can do it so this is this free game we're giving y'all okay you're welcome <laughs> so I think that's pretty much it I couldn't really find so much here but I'm not looking so hard so um, yeah if you're really looking into it you can let's look at some sort of good programs All right so that's pretty much it and uh, for now I want to look at maybe another school in another province so let's look at Alberta because I know that a lot of people a lot of international students also be going to Alberta so first look for those that offer PGWP and they are DLI and let's just find one random one okay put it like this oh okay I messed it up when I changed it so let's see I don't know what school this is but let's look for this school Mount Royal this is just random I'm just showing you how you can actually find schools using the Canada.ca official website and not you know having to pay someone to look through all that information for you and they may even end up getting you something that is not PGWP eligible that's the most painful thing so <laughs> you may be working with an agent but you should double check just come to this website take the name of the school they've given you or the, the school they're saying they would be able to help you get in and then just double check it like cross check it here so Mount Royal University this is my first time hearing of this school seeing the school I don't know anything about this school so I'll be blind guiding you all and that's pretty much also how you will be searching for the schools so as always come to international students and discover our programs programs often right so they have some bachelors you also show what's open and what's closed and let's say certificates this is open for the fall and winter advanced studies and critical care nursing or BA in human resources so let's check this one out mm -hmm. so <laughs> This is just like some information about it and what else? The courses, right? Admission requirements and costs. This is what we're looking for. Post-secondary degree required costs. Mm -hmm. Budget calculator, financing your education. I'm going to come back to these now, but I want to see if we can see the generic costs. So, finance, I think it's the same place. It's going to bring me, yeah, it's same place. Let's see. So, let's go back. So, they also have residential. 
options which you can check scholarships but so um mbcc umb and also stu have some scholarship options i apologize i didn't check those but you should be able to see them under money matters or s something about finances and it also shows you the whole process in um you know you actually applying how to apply when uh admissions open for the scholarships and whatnot so we are here at the mount royal university budget calculator and let's choose random program residence no thanks meal plan no thanks parking no thanks because you know i ain't got a car <laughs> miscellaneous scholarships no thanks so for let's see 4602 for one year not so bad that's not so bad how long are the programs how many years let me go check uh, let's see Oh, for no service diploma, dang. <laughs> hey, I didn't even know about this. Okay. I mean, that's a cool job, but I get like I'm, I'm really fidgety and I get scared. Not get scared, but I'm a bit jumpy, so I don't think I can do that program, but yeah. So let's see if it shows us how long this is. So I don't know, it's not showing if it's going to be one year, two years, so need to do a bit more digging. So you can also request the information, so in case um, we do not find that we can request the information. Okay, probably academic calendar. Okay. Yo, it's becoming a bit complicated, so. <laughs> Let's say anthropology. Oh, these are the courses. These are the courses. But these are the courses, but I'm not seeing how long these going to take. Okay. So it could be because I've never been on this website before, but I am struggling to find. So 10 courses must be completed. Right. So what do I, I would advise is come to. Where, where is this even? I think this is like academic calendar or something like this. And check the acceptance. Yeah, academic faculties and programs. Check the acceptance criteria. And you will be able to see at least see some information about that because I don't know, it's a bit complex, but at least the general information. And yeah, if you have a question, you can just do contact us. And let's say, um, right now, <laughs> worldwide, okay. Oh, these are the agents, I bet. So you can contact them from here. 
but I'm not going to do it. So, admission requirements as well. Okay, and the text is like hella small for someone with bad eyes. So. You don't need to do better, Mount, Mount Royal University. You don't need to work on your website. Okay. Yeah, you can also ask a question, contact them, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's a quick tour of the school. And let's look at one last one in maybe Toronto. So let's do. And you can actually do like 50 or more. So yes. And. I, so I don't know even. <laughs> all this, but yeah Toronto. So Toronto we have. I think uh, yeah. Centennial College. Let me just double check. Yes, PGWP eligible. So go to the website. And it's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Come on, man. I was thinking of Seneca College because I did apply to that school. Right, okay, so it's loaded up now, so let's just go with this one. So, international education always. How to apply? Really? Okay, choose your program. Okay, complete the application, email your application documents. So, there is no Ghana. Whoa, let me double check because it's crazy. English speaking Africa I <laughs> I was about to be like what check your status receive acceptance letter apply for permit okay so this shows you the whole process that's pretty cool and then with the hyperlink so that you can go step by step and then you can always come here to you know verify or whatever you need to do here so let's just say trucking one year, one year, 32 weeks. And I just want to double check at these programs that international students can do. That's the main focus today. Ooh, unavailable for internationals. All right, so let's just go back, find something available for us. Is so international? Uh, then they should rather make it for you to see from here if internationals can do it. Okay, networking and software engineering better be. And let's see, got to be, yeah, got to be. So September 2022 and January 2023 have availability. So if you're interested and let's see how much what it costs. So looks like um I need to go to, yeah all right tuition and fees so for an international it's eighteen thousand and twenty six dollars and these are for two semesters and admission requirements as well career options courses first semester what you're gonna do second semester what you're gonna do as well very good at least everything is in one place so you don't have to like <laughs> keep looking and then how to apply also very important all the information here for international applicants right so it brings you back here so just so you know and let's look if there is anything else i am um, also this is also good to check international student 
and well it brings you back here so <laughs> this is a international student guide right permits co-op so all these things are also important for you to um, check so when you click the application brings you just back here and we go back and let's see applying for co-op work permit online mm -hmm. so I'm not going to read all this let's see if they have any accommodation options maybe maybe not hopefully uh, let's see residence okay some there's some like articles about this okay let's see and also I love the fact that you can you know increase the font for people with uh, accessibility or visibility issues that's really really nice big ups big ups to Cent Centennial College all right so mm -hmm. okay 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 oh swimming pool mm. so how do we apply for this that's what I'm saying that's what I want to know man Okay, so I guess you have to contact them because I don't see anything. Yeah, so they may have residence, but you need to contact them to ask because I am not seeing the application. Alrighty, so that's it guys um, it's been a really long video but I hope you all learned something from this video I touched on a bunch of schools I talked a lot which is not normal for me but hopefully you all learned something and if you have some more questions about these schools or how to search I'll be glad to answer them Kwame will be glad to answer them just bear in mind that anything relating to immigration, we are not licensed to talk about them. I do see some YouTubers and some other people talking about them. I don't know why they're talking about them. Maybe they have a license and I don't know. But for myself, I do not have a license. I'm not trying to get in trouble. I may even end up giving you false information. So always go to the school. They usually have like an immigration advisor. Go there and ask the questions and they'll be able to give you honest answers hope you all enjoyed this video um just give it a thumbs up if you did and just subscribe for more videos